Yuki One donated $25, then got to donate during the horror block. Shout out to the DTA crew. Silent Hill 2 scared me for years as a kid, and seeing it thrashed is cathartic. All right, it looks like we're about ready. I'm gonna go ahead and pass it to Smooth, smooth Operative running Tomb Raider 2. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming to the run. It's like 3 a.m. local time, and I definitely appreciate it. Who's ready for Tomb Raider 2? Yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching at home. On my couch tonight, I have the lovely Bexky93, Maxi Lobes, and Midge. So these are three of my Tomb Raider besties, and um, we're going to do this run. So if you guys are ready, I think we can probably start soon. What do you guys think? Yeah. Should we do it? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one, go. Woohoo! OK. So, we are starting off the game in a level called The Great Wall, and Lara has gotten word that uh, there's a magical dagger here, and she's on her way to find it. So, um, what you just saw is um, a corner bug that you will see pretty often throughout the run. Um, I think Cody can uh, agree with me there. It's, it appears in a lot of places. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the foundational bug of the game. Exactly. It's like the foundation of the run, the, uh, the corner bug. Um, another thing to note is that um, I pull out Lara's weapons a lot, her pistols, because she's able to pivot faster. And we use this in a lot of places just to make sure that um, she's moving Optimally, I guess you would say. Yeah, yeah. and in also some cases it'll help you uh, cut the camera out the way because uh, sometimes you'll pull a lever or something. To yeah. Work away from you. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, so you'll see me um, pull them out or bop the camera button. Also, we'll kind of skip a. I guess you would call it like a camera pan or something like a some kind of yeah. section that you don't have time to look at. <laughs> 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 but the Great Wall is pretty straightforward um, in terms of glitches. You'll see one coming up. Um, I, I guess it's some kind of a bo box uh, clip. I don't know the proper name yeah. for it at the moment. <laughs> I don't know the proper name for a couple of other things at the moment. That one. I'm really that one. nervous. <laughs> I'm trying to pull it together. but. You got the that. flare cancel there, too. So it can't yeah. stumble when she lands. Um, by using the flare, though. Exactly. Um, normally, yeah, I mean, there's there's crows. <laughs> They're so angry. There's crows. They're hungry. I mean, they haven't seen any kind of anything in a while, so, you know, birds got to eat, too. But not today. <laughs> but what Bex was saying about the... Um, Flare cancel is that um, yeah. if Lara falls from a really great height too, like yeah. she'll stumble and it does take like a few seconds for her to recover. So, um, so yeah, I yeah, don't want see, that. You'll see it a lot throughout the run, and it will save uh, quite a bit amount, uh, quite a big amount of time throughout the run. Yeah, it's about two-ish seconds for a full uh, stumble cancel. So. Yeah. And, and you get about six flares per. Per is it pack. six? I couldn't remember if it was six or eight, but you're probably correct. It's yeah. six per, per it's, pack. And so if you pick up a flare pack, ideally you'll be saving 12 seconds from it. So even though you take three seconds to pick up the flare pack, you're it's still, wor yeah, it ends up being worth it. it. Yeah. 
Scared you, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, these fidget spinners. They big. <laughs> so we're actually going to skip, uh, this isn't a skip, but we're going to skip uh, two T-Rexes down below. So I'm very sorry if you were looking forward to seeing them. <laughs> uh, Bye, dinos. <laughs> yeah, isn't there a secret down there? Yeah, we and really actually that. pay attention to this door because um, it's pretty important. The whole point of the game is to get through this door. Oh, so that happened. <laughs> I figured, I, <laughs> figured I'd let you guys see that. Um, so the entire game is just trying to open that door. So Lara uh, knows that uh, the dagger is probably in there, but of course, the door is locked, and we have to find the key for it. So um, that's what we're doing. And uh, Lara got a little tip from that guy at the door that another person is after the dagger that's inside, Marco Bartoli, <laughs> who, who we'll see later. <laughs> and the dagger she's referring to, by the way, we skipped the opening cutscene, but it's um, an ancient Chinese artifact that's meant to give the user the ability to kind of conquer the world by turning into a dragon and doing some cool things. Yeah. Bo a little bonk there. <laughs> Happy little bonks. Don't worry about it. So normally in this level, you would actually need to use two different boats to proceed. But what we do in the runs is we entirely skip this first boat. There's actually a boathouse down below here that we just haven't even uh, bothered to look at. Yeah, you normally have to go up and like get a key and do all this. But um, we get to skip that by um, doing that glitch to get up to the top of that awning. But we'll still get to see some boat action, don't worry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's coming up. <laughs> yeah, Venice is a really memorable level. I think we all remember this one. Oh, yeah, definitely. I've reset here many times. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Vex, I love that. <laughs> oh, it's true. Seen a lot of Venice. Shout out to Venice. So. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching from Venice, shout outs to Venice. So here, um, there's a guy with a gun that we really don't want him to shoot us, but it's kind of RNG. Um, so we're going to clip kind of under the boat and try to get away from him as fast as possible. That actually wasn't That wasn't too bad. Terrible that was good. Yeah. That was RNG. Decent, yeah. It was decent, yeah. Um, and hopefully... Woo! <laughs> RNG high. <laughs> <laughs> I do know what that means. Cody, do you want to explain um, kind of the old strat and how the, do the door, do you know what I mean? Like Yeah, yeah, so it used to be, you may have caught a glimpse of there used, there's a button in the back of that room and we used to go and we would travel all the way back to that button and push it. And what we understood at the time was that pushing the button opens the door and it starts this uh, sequence to get out of the, the level. But Recently, we discovered, actually, you don't even need to push that button. You simply need to go past that uh, ramp that she um, jumped down, and yeah. the door opens for you. Uh, normally, yeah. there's a timed escape sequence, but actually, through the way she exited the room, she skipped the trigger to actually start the timer. So the yeah. door is just open, and you can just freely leave. Yeah, as long as you don't ride back over the ramp, then the door stays open, as long as you hit that trigger. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. It skips quite a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very nice. Bartoli's hideout. So he might be here. He might not be here, but <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I just want to go for a little swim real quick, guys. You know? <laughs> it's been an exhausting two levels. So. so here's a fun new kind of bug. Um, basically, any way you can get Lara to embed, you can probably get her to glitch up. So mm -hmm. here's another cool example. It's called a stair bug or a step bug. How about that? And we're inside. Walls Very don't nice. matter. <laughs> They're what optional. Are walls optional. Forget it. <laughs> so coming up here is another kind of um, 
wall wall glitch, but I have to do like a little bit of a specific setup here. Um, it kind of looks like it just looks funny. <laughs> yeah, you need to fly for this one. Don't yeah, you? it's very it's a little more specific than the other one, but yeah. you do need the flare to um, complete it. So here we go. Boop. Very nice. Nice. Well done. <laughs> All right, well, you know what they say, guys. Better save than sorry. <laughs> ah. So here we are. <laughs> yeah, it's the tricky right. corner jump there. Yeah, it, the can, it can be. And then the recovery, I would have to do all of those yeah. again. Yeah. So I um, guess I should probably get used to saving <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> See ya, doggos. Doggos are quite vicious. They drain you. They yeah. are. These doggos are like vampire vicious doggos. They drain your health so much. Yeah. Um, so we just want to avoid them at all costs. Oh, yeah. By the way, fence bugs. Oh, uh, fence bugs. Fences hey. are also optional. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> A lot of this run is about health management too. It's yeah. Very important. Um, the interesting thing is uh, the health bar on the PC version, which is what we're running now, is a lot smaller than it is on the PlayStation version. Mm -hmm. So I have to constantly look up at that little corner um, and also at the little corner where her um, breath meter is just to make sure I'm, you know, I have to watch it very closely <laughs> so yeah. I don't kill her. Walls again. <laughs> yeah. So we were we used that um, flare pickup. We used that momentum to kind of go through uh, the wall there, and we can skip uh, a lot of the level that way. Okay. On to opera. House. On to the opera. This game's classy, you guys. Okay. <laughs> we're in the opera house. Let's just get hype about that, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. A little bit of hype for the opera. Yes. Who doesn't love a good opera? I actually have a $5 donation that does ask early, early morning, can I get a hype? <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> there right? you go. That was good. So, thank you. Thanks, Uber Browse. <laughs> so, she's setting up another uh, very specific step bug here to bypass this door, which... Yeah, normally you'd have to like find a key to open that, but um, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, casually opera house is really long. It is. We skip a lot of it in this room. And it's a very confusing level because is, yeah. there's just a lot. I mean, not to be redundant, but there's a lot of levels to opera house, so. Yeah. So another uh, bit of tech we've got going on here. Uh, she just did a fake grab. And that allowed her to have forward momentum without grabbing the ledge, as if you're doing a safety grab. I was scared. I thought I was going to get into the spikes. I got nervous. It was really close. I died here it was a lot. close. It's very easy to die here, but by uh, walking, Lara's able to, um, you know, keep it together. So, <laughs> that was nice. That was good, yeah. Another curve jump here so she can land on that. Again, skips quite a lot of the level. Yeah, that, that's the whole entire interior of the Opera House. Script, yeah. Which is a very, very long part. Very nice, you know? Nice. That was a really tight jump there. Yeah, yeah it's a really tight jump. <laughs> thank, thank you. <laughs> very good. So actually down below, there's a little, uh, I guess, mini boss uh, that we're just you know, of course, going to skip, but uh, yeah. he, he no, might make an appearance He's later. pretty similar to, yeah, the final boss. Mm. Hey, shout out to the plane girl. <laughs> <laughs> the plane babe. So um, Lara gets on this plane and um, overhears, uh, you know, uh, Bartoli um, and another guy talking. And so she's sneaking onto this boat, trying to uh, get their intel and is clocked by uh, another thug in the head and they put her in this like kind of cell holding area and so we need to find the way out but eh, they didn't do a very good job at uh, <laughs> locking it up i guess <laughs> they stripped you of your weapons but they did yeah so we have to go back and get our weapons um now luckily they left the ammo yeah luckily they left them somewhere <laughs> i'll be <laughs> able to find them oh i didn't uh 
I thought I thought I didn't get trapped by that guy, but I might I might have. Oops. Yeah, that. Okay. That's a weird uh, window. Ooh. Look. Yeah, you have to do like a little bit of a. <laughs> a little bit of a thing there. What are words? I. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> words are hard. <laughs> Yeah, so now she's got the pistols back, and, uh... Yeah, I got the pistols back, and, um... Now we're gonna go get a very important key card from this man here. And if you're not familiar with the game, the standard pistols actually have unlimited ammo, so you don't see an ammo counter on the screen anywhere. Other oh, wow. weapons do have... they actually died really close to each other. I didn't expect that guy to, like, come this far. Normally, you would want to try to get these pickups together, but it's not always easy because they kind of like to roam. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so we're about to do kind of a weird glitch. Um, it's called a quap. Famous quap. Mm. This one in particular is tricky for this uh, version, so I might get a little quiet here. Yeah. Um, so what she was saying about the version, there's two different uh, main versions that are used for speedrunning. She's using one called uh, Ido's Premier Collection. It's just a, a distribution of the game. Uh, it allows for particular glitches. Unfortunately, quops are made a lot harder in this version, so you have to be a little more precise. So she's taking a bit more time here to set it up. And here it is. Close. So let's see if you can get through the door here. Very nice. 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 Good stuff. Yeah. Very well done. Whew. And that's how you quap. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I have to count the shots there because you want this guy, oh, you want him to die in a very specific spot, which, um, so that you're able to get up to the top of that. But uh, I think I let go of the input, but it's fine because there is a backup strat. Yeah. Thank you, Crit, <laughs> <laughs> for that the backup, hero. the hero. Uh, let's see if I can get it. Nice. nice. Very nice. Yeah. The backup. Ooh, the backup. So normally with this part of the level, you have to fill um, the second pool in order to advance to the end of the level. And so you have to go through a series of uh, different areas to be able to pull a switch to do that. But instead, we're just going to fill the first pool and then just skip the second pool. Uh, yeah, so you'll see. Well, you guys won't be able to see me at home, but um, you, I have to hold the controller in a very weird sort of way to perform this. This is one of my favorite tricks, actually. Yeah, yeah. The, like I have to like do a couple of inputs here. Uh, okay. Wait. Hold, please. <laughs> <laughs> I've done this a million times. Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like you forget you forget how to do things when you're nervous. I think. <laughs> Yeah, so she was using the infantry and uh, equipping and unequipping the guns there to buffer forward ever so slightly so that she could run right off the end. Because you're not meant to be able to make that grab normally. No. It's like you need that extra bit of uh, space, so that's what those do. Yeah. All right, on to diving area. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> diving area. <laughs> Dive right in. Normally, you would die here. Um, shout out to Lara's biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> Clap for that one. Thank you. Thank you. I try. <laughs> Ow. Very elegant. I give that a nine out of ten. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, vanity strats. Yeah, Laura showing us the style. Do, 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 do. Boo, do, do. This camera angle. <laughs> boo, boo, do, boo, boo. 
This is like an MGS3 letter. <laughs> Why did they make it so long? It, it literally takes about a minute to get up this ladder in Glitchless. And uh, <laughs> so it just always reminds me of the uh, ladder in MGS3. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting very ready, ready to read some donations there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, please, please. Go uh, ahead. Go ahead and read them now. Well, actually, uh, we do have twenty-five dollars from the Mark of the Mark of the Wolves. Watching this at work. Hope I don't get fired. You got this, Tippy. Let's go, bub. Thank you. <laughs> uh, five dollars from I am Kevin. Good luck with the run, Tippy. Love you, girl. You really are an inspiration and showed me how to treat people the way you do. It's much appreciated, and hopefully, more people can be inspired by you. This is to earn, aka the run. Turn. Yes, please. 2013 memes are coming back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never, there's never enough hype. But please continue. I love it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah. So you'd think it'd be faster to just go ahead and climb the ladder, but it's actually slower to do that. So what we do is we just fall to the bottom of the ladder and do the same uh, glitch that we did before to get back up, so, um, so that went well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. first try. First try, can't complain. Um, and actually, uh, we're about to do another series of uh, different co-ops. Uh, I don't know if we even explained like why we call it that. Um, there's a Bennett Foddy game, I think it's free, and it is called Co-op, and the runner has kind of a weird like pose um, it's pretty iconic. <laughs> so that's kind of what's going to happen. And uh, I don't know, Cody, if you want to kind of maybe explain a little of the tech but while I do this, because I have to count. Yeah, sure thing. So uh, basically, when Lara goes to jump, she has a takeoff animation. It's very brief. But if you land back on the ground during that uh, takeoff animation, you kind of confuse the game. You actually break like sort of one of its memory values where it's supposed to be. So the game thinks you have positive fall speed. And so it pushes you into the floor like so. And so that's sort of what we call a quicksand effect at the end where she's able to scoop under the door. Uh, she's able to come back up because after a certain point, you're low enough to do the vaulting animation. Like the, the whole time, you're kind of like in the floor underground, sort of. <laughs> yeah, it's like just one of those things. Um, it's very weird, but it's really cool. It just works. Just, we don't know why. Just works. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get some hashtag just works in the chat, please? <laughs> Thank you. This quap has to be done at a very specific speed. I have to slow her down um, so that she can make it in time. So there you have it. Both quaps very done. Nice. Can't yeah. stop the quap. So we're approaching our uh, favorite uh, dialogue of the game here. We're approaching our favorite person of the game, I think. <laughs> yeah. Brother Chen. <laughs> Blood or answers. I have no preference. You should spill a bit of a ball. Okay, Marco. <laughs> Glad to have you about. <laughs> Tell me where in monastery should we look? Eh, brother. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry for your ears. We'll just say hi real quick. You are not one of them, but you are a monk. Monk. He's a monk. Confirmed, guys. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Here would be an excellent time for donations. Um, I just have to do a long swimming sequence. Uh, we have $5 from uh, Japia PN. Hey, a smooth, good luck in the run. Don't forget to save, because we all know this game can be unforgiving. The Tomb Raider community is watching. Hype. Thank you, Jeffy. <laughs> I, think, I think when we get a hype and a donation, we need some hypes from the audience. Hype! But no hoips. Please, no hoips. <laughs> <laughs> hype. We have $25 saying hashtag quap. Hashtag quap, all right. Yeah, I like the one quap yell. Yeah. Dude, how many people are going to like play quap after this? <laughs> do it. Just do it. <laughs> it's OK if you won't. Just don't tell me about it. Uh, we do have $50 from Quirky Mouse saying, keep up the awesome event. Good luck, Tippy, on the Tomb Raider 2 run. Thank you. 
And uh, I'm going to butcher this one. Sorry. Uh, Fragilex donated $500 saying, Whoa. Ribbit. Woo. Ribbit. <laughs> How did you know I love frogs? <laughs> okay, so this is a bit of a stylish sequence. I'll see if I can pull it off. Nine. 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 <laughs> nice. 10 out of 10. Thank you. Uh, so if you guys don't mind, I'm going to really quickly check Laura's medical situation. OK. Got to check and see uh, how many spices we have, because we are about to do some cooking. Mm -hmm. No, why? <laughs> Just go with it. It's fine, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> See, she's fine. She's fine. Yeah. They put. They had to re t take her back to the kitchen. Not cooked. <laughs> Not cooked enough. So yeah, the there's a bit of a, a sharp transition between like the last few levels we played in this one. So we were on an oil rig because we were taken captive there. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and, <God. laughs> no, it's okay. And then, well, what you didn't see, there was a cutscene where um, Ertoli is escaping in a submarine. And so Lara grabs onto the submarine and follows it down, uh, what is it, 40 fathoms. Mm -hmm. And now we're here. That's the name of the level. Um, how she survived that long and the pressure and everything, who knows? She's Lara. Yeah. She's great. Well, and she's here because um, supposedly there is a an artifact that we're going to need um, to, you know, proceed through the game, and it's buried at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> so um, that's why we're that's why we're under here trying to find it. I think personally, this is my favorite level of the game to run. I like this level a lot. I like the sharks, but you don't get to spend enough time with them. <laughs> We'll see sharks in the next level, too, so. Coming up, by the way, is a pretty tricky maneuver. Um, you need to swan dive in a very particular way. Yeah, so I'll have to listen for this for a second. Nice. Oh. nice. Lara <laughs> hits, like, the wall and the floor uh, at, like, the same time, and so it just kind of it just kind of works out. Guys, we need some serious bless RNG right now because this guy is very trigger happy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, he's mad today. <laughs> oh, oh, sir. Please. <laughs> well, luckily, uh, I did use meds in time, but that's well, you don't, generally don't want to take a, a loss there in health as, if you can help it. But sometimes he's just in a bad mood. And what can you do? Uh -huh. Coming up actually is um, one of my least favorite <laughs> parts about the run. Um, kind of a run killer, <laughs> but I'll try to make some saves so that we can uh, work it out. I have to manipulate um, an enemy in this next room uh, so that he dies in a very specific spot. And uh, when I do that, I'm able to um, glitch up to a certain section. So. Uh, I'll probably have to use another med. It's dangerous in these waters. <laughs> and that guy that you were hearing uh, breathe heavily is Scuba Steve. Scuba Steve. You'll notice she's picking up shotgun shells. Uh -huh. They'll come to use later, but it's quite a fun little thing to know. These guys are mean. Oh, yeah. They're just, they're just like hitting me so hard. I'm like worried about my meds now. <laughs> OK, yeah. So you want him to climb on that box so that he stops there. Nice. We'll see. We'll see about this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whew, hey. Very nice. I am glad that's over with. <laughs> oh, boy. Well. Yeah. <laughs> We're not doing that again. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't know if you mentioned it already. This is the level Wreck of the Maria Dorian. Yeah. And uh, this is the ship that, if you if we had listened a bit to the cutscenes and whatnot, we could have uh, figured out that this was the ship that belonged to Mar the Bartoli's father, I believe. Oh, there's some family drama in this game. Yeah. <laughs> the boat belonged to Bartoli's father, and um, apparently, like, his father had beef with Brother Chen's father, and all the monks blew up the cruise liner. <laughs> Very peaceful monks. <laughs> See ya, guy. <laughs> so you'll notice she's constantly uh, doing running jumps wherever possible. That's because that's the fastest uh, normal uh, Yeah, method. it's faster than just walking or just like running everywhere. So that's why we do that. Luckily, we, she has a head of steel, so it doesn't affect her. We could probably fit a few donations in. Uh -huh. If you oh. have any. Oh, we got a few, come on. <laughs> okay. Someone's raising it, because we do have $15 from OX. He's saying, donating for Lara's biggest fan, hashtag Quap Life. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to try so hard to not let out a Laura besides that one. <laughs> We're not going to forgive you if you do. Yeah. <laughs> I know that feeling already. Um, <laughs> we have $25 from All in One Mighty. Late night GDQ is best GDQ. Awesome games, awesome runners, awesome event. Thanks to everyone for participating, and good luck on the frames. And here's a little help for Sonic Mania Plus Race. Thank you. <laughs> so we get to see the sharks now. Ooh, and it's great because they're together, like a family. We want that because uh, that means I have more time to um, pick, pick up their, uh, you know, family heirlooms over here. <laughs> We're going to steal their stuff. And actually, if I um, touch the light of flare underwater while I'm picking up a key, um, you actually get a free flare. And um, who doesn't Ooh. love free flares? That was close. He was like, mm, are you still in my stuff? <laughs> uh -uh. Not in my ocean. But too bad we got it. It's ours. So. It's timed also, I should mention. So I need to get to the next area very quickly so that I can do um, the, flare, the flare cancel. Otherwise, the flare will run out and um, disaster. It tends to run out at a really awkward moment yeah. as well. Yeah, because if it runs out in the middle, like right before um, I'm supposed to jump, she'll throw it, and then I won't be able to like grab properly. So I have to yeah. be kind of quick here. Yeah. It's very ominous glitch here. <laughs> Very ominous flare cancels, <laughs> but we got it, so that's good. Uh -huh. So she's sidetracking this way to pick up the M16. Mm -hmm. it's a very powerful weapon, awkward to use, but nonetheless very useful to have. It's very powerful. I don't, I don't dislike it as much as I used to. It is very awkward though, because sometimes um, to get like a continuous shot, you need to um, just maneuver Lara in such a way that she keeps shooting, because she'll stop and start, and then you know, the enemies have time to um, bop you, and you don't want that. <laughs> bop. <laughs> so this next um, glitch coming up is actually really tricky. Like, it's kind of finicky. Um, I'll give it a shot, um, but we're going to try to glitch through this, like, trap door here. OK. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> So um, I'll have to kind of adjust her. This wasn't going well for me today in practice, but um, you have to kind of get her in a specific spot. Nice. Hey, okay. second try. That's second good. Second try. I'll take it. We take those. Yeah. We take those, yeah. Hey, guy. That's supersonic. He's wearing a supersonics hat. I actually just found that out recently. I don't know why, but we were <laughs> just kind of watching him. So coming up here is a shelf bug. Um, it's, I guess, kind of like a corner. I don't, actually, did I get the YOLO set up? I don't, I'm like nervous now that if I got it or not. Okay, I didn't. Um, you can YOLO the setup, but uh, otherwise you can just kind of do this. It looked close, and so I wasn't sure. Um, but it's kind of like a, 
corner bug, but like with a little bit of a little bit of extra, you know. So that will glitch us up to the very nice <laughs> the top of the the uh, section here. Who doesn't like extra? Yeah, yeah. So getting that lever, what it's done is it's filled this area here with water. Normally that is dry when you start the level and you have to do a lot of the whole first section of the level is getting the pistons that we saw earlier um, aligned in such a way that you can actually fill this room with water. But Yeah, so you have to like uh, have them uh, aligned a certain way and then realigned a different way to um, pull that uh, lever. Oh my god. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Where did. Oh, y'all. That guy came out of nowhere. <laughs> Bitey boy. So, this is a bit tricky, but it's one of those just saves a little extra time if I can get it. Nice. Nice. Okay. nice. And normally, you would just go across um, the other side and like jump to the top and. But that was good. The thing she said about uh, using your pistols to turn faster works with any weapon, so that's why she's also... Yeah, so uh, that's why I would pull out the M16 also. So you've seen this kind of bug a couple times already. Uh, just call it, I think, just a ledge bug, maybe a slope bug. Yeah. Um, if you um, align us, align Laura a certain way, um, and do like that back twist, you can kind of just um, ignore the slope completely, and she'll just um, climb to the top. Oh, I missed you. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of a run and gun here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually a really kind of tough, um, tough thing to do, but. Oh, Ooh, wow. Wow. Nice. Very, very nice. Had to, <laughs> had to try it for Danza. There you go. <laughs> We're thinking about you. <laughs> so this is a level called The Deck. And basically, at this point, uh, are you just trying to get out, like, of the water levels? Like, <laughs> you just got to get out. Run like, out of the ocean. God, how now. many le water levels are there? Four, three, <laughs> too many. Too many. This is actually another quap coming up um, for th for this level. Yeah, you have to be quick with this one before yeah. like, it catches up. Yeah, you have to be quick, very quick. <laughs> he, he got one bop it's off bad. on me, but hopefully no more. Nice. Ooh, nice. Not on the key, but close enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we have to do kind of a sequence of jumps here um, to get to the bottom of the deck. Uh, and then escape. Yeah, so she just grabbed the end level key there with that quap. Yeah, exactly. It's, it saves it a lot of time. Otherwise, you have to like go to this other section, and I know there's a raft involved. Involved. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> These levels are so long. <laughs> there's actually a flamethrower to my left. Oh, thank God he didn't hit me. <laughs> and two more up here, so uh, I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> Where's the other one? No, 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 no. What is he doing? What is he doing? I've never seen him there before. I have to reload. I'm so sorry. He never behaves that way. A bit unfortunate. That was really bad. That was really bad RNG. I've never seen that before. I don't know why he was on that side. That like never happens. You know what it is, guys? Marathon look. GDQ. GDQ. Yeah, so, well, hey, we get to see the quap again. Assuming I don't <laughs> botch it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice, oh, landed on the right key. Right on the key. <laughs> there you go. We'll make a save up here so I don't have to do that again, but um, <laughs> hopefully the guy is 
not in that position because that's really, really bad. Just unlucky. Very unlucky. So the weapon she grabs here, um, she grabs a couple grenades and then also the grenade launcher. And we'll put that to use later on. Comes in very handy yeah. later on. Oh God. Where is he? Okay. There he is. There he is. Yeah, that's where he normally is. Ooh, I thought I was going to catch fire again. <laughs> <laughs> My nerves are shot. <laughs> oh, the best level coming up as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's a bet. Yeah. So, um, Lara actually does go back to, like, the rig area and steals a plane, uh, but it doesn't go so well, and she crashes here um, in Tibet. So, we have to do a couple of things here. <laughs> nice. Cancel the boulders. Yeah. Those ones keep, they keep rolling, but if you do that sequence correctly, you can just kind of bypass the boulders, so. Uh, cover yours, Windows 10, maybe. Oh yeah, that's loud. <laughs> Here's just a little small, like, trigger skip. Uh, two birds would spawn that are just a bit annoying, so. Um, we don't, yeah, yeah, they just kind of get, get in the way. <laughs> Canyon jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Here we go. You guys ready for a banger? <laughs> 48 .mp3. <laughs> That's how we're pleased in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> Bongo cats as well, if you got them. <laughs> Soon. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Later? OK. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This thing is honestly a mess to drive. So yep. if I seem like I'm stopping to align, trust me, <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it has a really odd mechanic where even if you're done with the turn, it'll still kind of hold your turning speed even as you have completely stopped. So you have to be really careful about trying to cancel that held over turn speed. So yeah, she's being very careful about that, not trying to get trolled. <laughs> I'm like, uh, this thing is just like, has a mind of its own, so you have to be really careful. <laughs> Better safe really than sorry on this video. Absolutely. Slide <laughs> <laughs> to the right real quick. <laughs> I, par I parked the um, Skidoo a little bit crooked, so. You know what? Uh, just a couple adjustments, no big deal. I guess one thing to note is that all of those sorts of ladder bugs that we you'll see are not really the same uh, ladder to ladder. So uh, like this one behaves a little different than some of the earlier ones and some of the later ones will also behave a little different. Yeah. So as a runner, you have to keep that in mind and know when to time your release of the grab. You have to slow down here too, because if you're like pressing the acceleration button, Lara will just explode there. Yeah. <laughs> Just spontaneously combust for no reason. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right. I think the worst That's of it is me driving. The worst of it is over. I love how you said that, and I crashed into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's <is some> smooth <laughs> driving. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That section's really nerve-wracking, though, because you can die in so many different Oh, spots. yeah. I, you know what, guys? I, I really tried not to save during the jam, so yeah. I hope <laughs> you guys had fun. <laughs> so that was an avalanche. Are you sure that wasn't the <laughs> so drop? So that happened. You know, <laughs> casual avalanche. <laughs> Does it phase Lara? No, not, not a bit. But what that's done is that it's affected the previous room. Now, um, you may have caught a glimpse of it earlier. There was a key hidden under the ice, and now it's accessible. Yeah. So um, there's a really aggressive um, enemy that will spawn after you pick up the key. Um, hopefully, we can avoid him. Mm -hmm. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> 
we'll see. Okay, yeah, you caught like a tiny glimpse of him. Uh, you don't, you don't want to see him. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have time for a quick donation? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Cray G says, or donated $100 and says, good luck, Tippy. You got this. Remy is also watching. He says, meow. <laughs> it's Craig. Craig? Yeah. It's a tough one. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry, Craig. <laughs> it's okay. You know, we, today's all about forgiveness. We, we all learned something. <laughs> we all learned something. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. $25 from David Pittman saying, loving this Tomb Raider 2 run. Let's keep the hype alive through the night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys are amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So we're just about done with our red snowmobile here. It's, it's done a lot for us so far, but we have to leave it behind because we yeah. cannot take it over this little bump here. Well, you're not supposed to be able to, but... You really can in a normal uh, run scenario. Uh -huh. We probably have some time for more donations if there are any. We're just going to go into this hut and like uh, pull a switch and pick up a med. And so maybe like uh, three donations or so. All right, well, that switch is being pulled. We have $10 from Promisha, loving the Tomb Raider 2 run. Never managed to beat it as a youngin' because a shark scared me. It's uh -huh. cathartic to watch this game get crushed. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Tony T donated $25 saying, glad to see my childhood's favorite game being speedrun. Good luck to the runner, and thanks to, for this wonderful event. Yeah, everyone's doing an amazing job. Can we get some hands together for all the volunteers putting this together? It's been, everybody's been working so hard. Thank you. Thank you for the donation. And I actually do want to give a shout out to the Near Automata uh, file name, uh, Bid War, which currently Chungus is still ahead at 37.55, so shout outs to Chungus. Currently beating out giant bombs, Alex Navarro. Oh, good. Tomato. Oh, good. Oh, tomato. <laughs> so this is kind of tricky, but um, we have to kind of just we want to kind of manipulate this guy. Oh, he's being mean. Oh my God, I have never seen that. <laughs> the skidoo was just like ringing me. He was dodging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, now it's bongo cat time. So unlike the red snowmobile, the snowmobile doesn't have a boost mechanic when you use the action button, it instead shoots. Uh, so it's, it's a fighting snowmobile as opposed to the speed Yeah, snowmobile. also that last guy was really deadly because a little scratch of that skidoo mm -hmm. and he's gone. Yeah, that's why I was like holding my breath. Yeah. Like, oh God. I love this song. <laughs> Such a jam. All of the songs in this game are really good. Yeah, the yeah. soundtrack's amazing. Um, okay, sorry, I have to line this up a little bit. Um, we're gonna glitch through this box with the skidoo, so. <laughs> there we go. Hey. Bye-bye, Skidoo. I thought I was going to die there. <laughs> <laughs> I may have to do a med check. Um, I'm trying to think if there's some ba backup meds. I'm, like, really paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> you don't... I shouldn't need to use any in this um, in this level, I don't think. So, well, there we go. So we're in the monastery now. Um, there are, I guess, two types of... Um, what would you say? Like, en en enemies or, I guess... There's monks and then there's mercenaries and the monks are actually like kind of on your side But if you happen to hurt them in any way, then they'll turn on Lara and you know, not so peaceful anymore <laughs> yeah. um, But it's very easy to accidentally um, Shoot at them because Lara has an auto aim like it doesn't always work like sometimes she'll miss a shot But um, you don't want to be hitting those monks like monks are your friend <laughs> in, the, in this run <laughs> Little little ladder glitch there <laughs> skips uh, quite a bit of time. 
So as uh, she mentioned in her interview uh, right before, uh, there used to be, this used to be one of the, the longest level of the run even. Uh, but now um, what she's going to do right now is go and find one prayer wheel. Yeah. And then we're gonna, she's going to use that and be able to bypass all of the I'm rest gonna of the I'm just going to trigger this. <laughs> like, uh, I was trying to skip this boulder, but um, I, I got the alignment a bit in, incorrect to start, and we have to move on. <laughs> <laughs> the boulder had his uh, moment, I guess. <laughs> box pushing, great Good old sitting. box pushing. Good old box pushing. <laughs> um, so here, we're actually spawning a monk by going over this. Yeah, <laughs> no girl, <laughs> you don't want to aim at that one. <laughs> so they're going to fight, the monk and this mercenary will fight, um, and then Lara has time to pick up uh -huh. the prayer wheel, so. There we go. Wow, that guy does not know where he's aiming. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, Monk won. <laughs> yeah, GG Monk. Monk. Good job, GG, yeah. <laughs> nice. I have a lot of trouble with that ladder. You have to do those ones a bit um, quick, whereas the ones in the diving area, you have to kind of do a little differently. But, yeah. Um, yeah, you can void um, into no man's land easily. <laughs> Yeah. Hopefully we don't have to visit the void at any time. Oh, God. I hope not. <laughs> so we're going to do another dive bug uh, here. <laughs> it looks so cool. Yeah, I think it does look really nice. It's an elegant run, as I, said, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, you don't get to see the swan dives very often, but um, okay. So here is the um, the item tube. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the thing. <laughs> um, and then we're able to use the seraph, which we picked up at the end of the deck, to uh, imitate a prayer wheel. And so, um, it, yeah, the game just thinks. <laughs> You, just, you don't even really need to do anything. Like, it's such an easy dupe. Well. Yeah, yeah, it's not, not a difficult dupe. Uh, you can't mess it up at the start, but yeah. um, I'm trying to go real <laughs> carefully. <laughs> do you know how much time this saves? It's a lot, isn't it? Oh, yeah, this level casually is like, or even in glitches, we were talking about this earlier, it's like 15 minutes or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, and here it's maybe four to five minutes. Um, Saved a ton of time. Yeah. About eight minutes or so the skip saved when Down. it was found. Yeah. <laughs> huge. Yeah, huge. <laughs> and now we actually use the Sarah. Yeah. So, um, funny enough, we actually have a little cameo from one of our sponsors coming up next. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all like Yetis? Yeah. Because we do. <laughs> Thank you so much to all the fine folks at uh, theyeti.com and providing us with the uh, excellent merchandise throughout the uh, marathon. Just want to say, uh, if you have not snagged your official AGDQ merch yet, you can go to theyeti.com slash AGDQ to see all of the incredible designs they've got available. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to push me off. So uh, the previous level of Barking Monastery, they had this this catacombs hidden underneath. This is the catacombs of the tally. Mm -hmm. This is the name of the level. Uh, so the level you advance by picking up these, uh, I believe they're just called Talion masks or something like that. Um, which is one of these guys here. Oh, yeah. They're scary. Booga. <laughs> we'll do a quick save here. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Hold on. I have to kind of fall a certain way. Um, there we go. So, um... Got a little bit of words. dream, but overall <laughs> that went well. 
Yeah, yeah, no, sorry, that went well. Um, I have to kind of focus because the mercenaries can really drain your health there, and um, I have to watch Lara's health very, very carefully. <laughs> um, and actually, I'll have to exit the level um, a bit of a safer way because her health is blinking. Bit of a tricky jump coming up. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, nice. Oh, clap for that one. That, that, that one's hard, kind of hard too. But. It is hard. Didn't look it, but that's actually quite a finicky jump. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we're in Ice Palace. <laughs> There's a lot of Yetis in this level. <laughs> Yetis are quite powerful. Oh, there's one now. <laughs> and so uh, in terms of this, uh, I guess, overall story of the game, this is the uh, last uh, search level, if you will, before we will go back to that uh, door that uh, to be pointed out at the start of the run. So yeah, so we're approaching that um, the key to uh, to enter that door. So and of course it's guarded by Yetis because why not? Because yeah. <laughs> Kind of a tough uh, sequence there, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's actually the, bri the bridge jump. <laughs> yeah, that was really smoothly done. That whole section. <laughs> the uh, Yeti sound effects made me think somebody was uh, actually breathing into the mic for a second. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, yeah. It does sound that way, kind of, yeah. <laughs> so this is actually that space there was uh, from the previous level. We didn't really get to look at it though, but you do. Cool level design may have you revisit part of the previous level here. Yeah, it's confusing because I used to mix them up quite a lot. I'd, I'd be in, you know, um, I or I'd be in catacombs thinking I could do stuff for Ice Palace and couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> the Yeti.com. Go. <laughs> Splash ADGQ. Yep. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> Get a shirt. You know you want one. <laughs> Okay, so coming up is um, a weapon combine glitch. We're going to be combining the M16 with the shotgun, um, and it becomes kind of this um, super gun. So I have to kind of set up this, like, on this um, ladder of ice, I guess. Damn, how does Lara climb this? <laughs> <laughs> Impressive. So I have to draw her weapon here at the top of the, um, the ladder and then do a couple of couple of things. <laughs> so right now the game doesn't think that she has the M16 out? Yeah, the game the game is confused. Lara's confused. She's picking things up uh, in strange ways. <laughs> Scooped it up with her knee. Talented. <laughs> Lifts talented herself up with lady. her knee. Very talented. <laughs> Uses her forehead to lift herself up. <laughs> yeah, so here's the... Easy GG. clap. Easy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we're finally through the door, um, and the dagger is in here, you guys. It's literally right there. I could literally grab it right now and get it. Oh. But <laughs> we're going to have to wait. <laughs> we're going to have to go through this uh, death maze of a level and um, hopefully get it. Uh, right now, Lara's kind of racing against Bartoli for the dagger, so we'll see who gets there first. Coming up is a really uh, pretty precise and finicky jump. It's a, yeah, it's a finicky jump. Um, it's hard to, I don't, I don't even know what you call it. I might actually um, adjust this really quick. Okay, <laughs> let's try this. 
it might have been okay, but I'll um, make a save here and. Okay. Nice. Ooh. Very <laughs> nice. I think what happens is like I let go of the input sometimes, and she just doesn't want to do it. But okay. <laughs> My hands are shaking. <laughs> That was the most like sad and pathetic death cry. I feel bad. <laughs> uh -huh. So yeah, that bridge jump uh, skipped three fourths of the level. Maybe it's very long level casually. Mm -hmm. Very hard as well. Yeah. Lots of death traps. Oh yeah. Bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, whoops, ran out of a couple of, <laughs> ran out a couple of shots there. Did you say bird up? Bird up. <laughs> Shout out to the birds. Yeah. Is this the first ladder climb of the game? Uh, <laughs> I, I think you've yes. skipped every single other we ladder. We have skipped up to every point. single ladder, and we're actually going to skip the next one too. Um, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Ooh, okay, nice. that one yeah, can be a yeah. bit weird <laughs> for me. <laughs> so that was good getting that first try. <laughs> Punk. <laughs> so she just uh, uh, performed a bit of tech where um, when you grab a ledge, normally you would uh, do this sort of free swinging animation uh -huh. and it would prevent you from climbing up. So it's sort of like yeah. a stumble animation, but you can cancel it by quickly letting go and re-grabbing the ledge. Yeah, like her legs will swing um, while she kind of adjusts, trying to get up to whatever it is. And so just saves a little bit of time. You'll you see me do it a lot, or just anyone. <laughs> OK, I might make a quick save. We don't have time to have uh, tomato soup. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's hot. <laughs> That is meant to be lava, by the way, that tomato soup. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. She's loving it today. <laughs> She's loving it. She can't get enough of this tomato soup. Bathing in it. <laughs> yeah, this whole level is just one big death trap. Yeah. If only V8 sponsored AGDQ. Maybe in the summertime. Hey, we're looking at you, V8. Okay, so now, uh, oh, 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> the swerves. <laughs> uh, my hands are kind of a mess. Uh, sorry, <laughs> too much, uh, too much hype, baby. <laughs> <laughs> too much tomato too soup. Much too much hype. soup. <laughs> Mind if I bust out a, a quick donation? That's also a reminder. Go ahead. Yeah. We oh, yeah, go for it. Yeah, I'm fifty dollars from Sheep Slapper. Wait, her name is Lara. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Did you just realize that? Honestly, we got we need to educate y'all. <laughs> <laughs> There's no you. There's no you. No, no, no. So since I botched that, we'll just real delicately line this up again. <laughs> no, I'm so used to just going for it, but my hands are like. Eh. <laughs> so we don't get to skip. Um, uh, this one, there is some tech in uh, a different executable that will allow you to skip like this whole um, ladder sequence, but um, can't do that in um, this one. So we're gonna just skip it in a different kind of way. If I can get it, this can be kind of hard, um, but we'll we'll see what happens. <laughs> Oh, okay. 
Not the first try. We'll try again. <laughs> Nice. There we go. <laughs> as, as previously mentioned, we take the second try. <laughs> <laughs> it's still faster than climbing all of this um, business. So, um, yeah, so I'll let you guys watch this. It kind of explains why the lo next level looks the way that it does. That's Marco Bartoli. Yeah, yeah. Oh, stretch it out, guys. <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> he went for it. So they're taking uh, Bartoli uh, to the place where he can kind of become his one true self, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the floating islands, uh, presumably yeah. Jade. Jade. <laughs> this level is just terrifying. Um, we do a little bit of a roundabout jump there, just so that the um, Jade statue on the right doesn't uh, animate to life because we don't want that. <laughs> Dropping it like it's hot. <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> Coming up uh, is a quite tricky uh, sequence. Yeah, I'm going to probably need to. Um, Focus a bit yeah, on this need, one. We need some quiet. We need for some this. quiet and maybe hold your breath a bit. <laughs> I'm going to be jumping on these slopes in kind of a, uh, an obscure way. <sighs> Trying to find the right frame here. Very precise, yeah. Very, very nice. You have to put the inputs at the right time. Uh, otherwise, Lara can't make it. And you can do it without um, the, the menu buffering, but it's, it's quite difficult. So that's why we use the, um, that's why we use the menu so that we're able to see the frame that uh, we need to put the, push the inputs on. Yeah. And actually, the trick she did right after that, that slope in bed, is actually also really tricky on its own. Yeah, the whole, the whole thing oh, is like just <laughs> This level hard. is a nightmare. Yeah. But um, we actually didn't have to see any of the enemies, which is good because they're pretty scary. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. So some of these statues won't come to life if we do it right? Yeah. I might actually do a quick med check. Um, how many do I have? Five? Oh, five? Nice. Five? Okay. Nice. That's good. <laughs> I guess I'm not doing as bad as I thought. <laughs> we need a lot of meds because um, we're kind of going to do the craziest thing <laughs> that I can think of right now. <laughs> uh, just go into a room with a bunch of enemies and try not to die. <laughs> yeah, we don't have enough ammo to kill them. It takes too long anyway. And I have to um, pick up this um, some enchanted cracker. I <laughs> something <laughs> mystic plaque. Thank, thanks, game. <laughs> the enchanted Ritz cracker. <laughs> okay, that went very well. Yeah, that so. was really smooth. That's the tough room sometimes. Yeah. Tough boss fight coming up as well. Oh yeah, we need the grenade launcher for this, you guys. is like the hardest thing I've ever done. It's intense. Very intense. <laughs> so normally it would be chasing you around and trying to stomp on you and breathe yeah. fire, but. And that's yeah. why there are little pools of water in the floor because it's easy to catch fire here and um, then you can cool Lara off, but 
Ooh, got him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whew, we didn't get the rogue flame. Sometimes uh, this little flame will fall from the ceiling and just if you if you are a little too far to the right, you'll catch fire. <laughs> so that was good. Whew. Okay, guys, and we are out of uh, uh, help. Dragon's <laughs> Lair. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and home sweet home. Okay, so now Laura gets to celebrate Hopes with her nice that. new artifact. Yeah, she's got her new artifact. Things things are good, but wait, there's more home invasion <laughs> happening. <laughs> They want that dog. They want it, uh, but we'll see. I don't think they can have it. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta deal with those baddies. Yeah, we gotta deal with these guys. Um, and sometimes this level can be a bit of a mess because the enemies tend to like do their own thing. They're very unpredictable. They're, yeah, they're very unpredictable. And um, so you have to kind of go fast or like, you know, try your best. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's good. Um, there's sometimes a guy that's right next to the other one where you can get a quick shot off, but um, yeah, <laughs> he wasn't there, so we'll get him later. And sometimes the dogs are sneaky and they run away from yeah, you. Yeah, this dog likes to run away, which I think he's actually doing. Oh, I think he's in the back. Oh, yeah, come back here. <laughs> Got him. Brutal. <laughs> I don't think Lara's an animal lover, but... <laughs> no pets. <laughs> He's allergic. <laughs> There'll be a few more baddies waiting around here. Just a few. I actually think there was one back there, but I'm not about to go into the darkness and check. <laughs> he, can, he can come out later. <laughs> Do I have time for a very fast donation? Very fast. Uh, Nick donated $25 saying, love the run so far. This goes towards killing the animals. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Good timing. Yeah. <laughs> um, sorry, I've been, <laughs> I've been trying to pick up this med pack and my brain's like, no. <laughs> Just in case, the garden party med pack, you know, it's always good to have a little, <laughs> a little extra. <laughs> I don't think I would have needed it, though, because this has been going sort of well. Yeah. <laughs> We're having a really serious fight with the, this truck. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. In general, enemies uh, have no regards to regular wall physics. They just walk through everything. There's someone missing. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, there he is. He, he needed some more time. <laughs> All right, and I think the final boss will spawn now. Oh yeah, there he is. There he is. Big boy. He's in my house. <laughs> time is coming up soon. Yeah, way. time will come. You'll hear a gunshot. Um, just we have to wait for it. Oh. Don't you think you've seen enough? Time. Time, yeah. Woo! <laughs> oh, boy. <Yeah. laughs> Woo! Oh, thank you. Thank you. It was, uh... Oh, hey. Thank you guys so much for having me. Um, this was... Uh, it's insane. I think I'm monka shaking over here <laughs> like crazy. Uh, but, but thank you guys so much uh, for, um, for for watching, for staying up late. It's probably like 4 a.m. or something. Um, and everybody watching at home, thank you so much uh, to staff, uh, Bex, Maxi, Cody. Thank you guys. So um, it was a pleasure. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, donation incentive was met for the assault course. Do you, does anyone know? Yep. I think so. so it we're was met. Okay, so it was met. Um, so after the after the credits roll, um, we'll do the um, we'll do the that. What was the final time? One eleven thirty five. Ooh, okay. Under underestimate. I'll I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice friend. The end. <laughs> <laughs> this is honestly quite a difficult game to play. Oh, it's yeah. very difficult. It is. Yeah. Okay, so um. Now that the
the run is over. <laughs> can breathe a little bit more, but we're gonna go to Lara's home oh. and um, that say hi to Winnie. Winnie. Hi, Winnie. Winnie. Look at him. He's such a trusty <laughs> butler, serving the tea. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> oh, I did. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's allowed, you guys. <laughs> I don't know if that's allowed. I, have, I would have to get the okay from somebody <laughs> to do that. But we're still, we'll still do the assault course. Now, do you know what your best time is on the assault course? Uh, I don't, actually. Um, there's a timer that will kind of go for you. You guys can see it. It's at the top. But um, eh, maybe like, I, don't, I really don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> Maybe like a 111 or something. <laughs> so it's fun to do this when you just want to relax and go back to Lara's home and, um, you know, work out and uh, strength train, climb some stuff. Winston will serve us tea later. It'll be fun. <laughs> it's just nice to keep Winnie company. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. get to see Laura often, so. No. Always on adventuring and grabbing artifacts. All right. Yeah. Winnie built all of this with nobody asking him to. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's incredible. <laughs> you guys have no idea. <laughs> he's a sweetheart. Gosh. Yeah. That was my best time yet. Okay. So Laura's a, li a liar, but <laughs> actually our best time yet. <laughs> So wait, that was the best time yet? So oh, that was world record then, right? Oh my God, you guys, GDQ world record? World record! What? what? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> if, it's, if Lara says it's the fastest time, it's, it's the fastest time. What she say, says goes, so. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for me. Um, coming up next, we have um, Plastic Rainbow with uh, Tim Raider, the Angel of Darkness. The cult classic, so I hope you guys will stick around for that. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, thank you again so much for having me. <laughs> Woo! Can we keep that applause going? That was an amazing run uh, by Smooth Operative. Tomb Raider 2 was awesome. We'll be right back after a quick commercial break. Welcome back to Awesome Games and Quake 2019. We are raising for money for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Prevent Cancer Foundation is an awesome organization. Just want to point out that uh, they fund important research grants and fellowships at some of the most prestigious academic institutions and medical centers across the U.S. The goal of the Prevent Cancer Foundation's research program is to identify and fund innovative projects with the potential to make substantial contributions to cancer prevention or early detection. We've also got some donations left over from the awesome Tomb Raider 2 run. 
Seraphian donated $15 saying, I don't really have the money for this, but I have to donate for this runner. Nailing every trick while giving awesome commentary. I'm in awe. The, the interview was right. Tank controls done like this is like watching a bulldozer do ballet. Coming up next, we do have Tomb Raider the Angel of Darkness by Plastic Rainbow. Coming on after that is Nier Automata by Fullis. This is the E ending route, much longer than the uh, A ending route we've done in the past. And after that is the Battle of Olympus being run by Karma. Uh, once again, going back to the Nier Automata file name that I will keep uh, referencing, Chungus is still in the lead. Uh, to be or not to be has taken the second spot. Uh, and Alex Navarro of Giant Bomb fame is still uh, about $900 behind. So if you want to go ahead and take down Chungus, it's going to take about $900 so far unless someone defends it. Sonic Forces Extra Stages are about $1,900 away as well to get the full Sonic Forces experience, which is a game that I know has a gamer hat in it, and that's about all I can say about it. Uh, you, we will need to get that $2,000 in before the run. Uh, we have a $25 donation from someone that I think I can see on stream at the moment. Uh, Pokeball Hat Guy. Hey, Twitch chat from the Late Night GDQ Hype Squad audience. I don't know if you guys could hear, but a lot of love just emanated from that crowd. We have a $25 donation from DeGreen. It always amazes me to see people know a game to its core. And it made me wonder on how much the time they dedicate to themselves in knowing this game to its very core. And I see a community that not only is having fun, but showing skills for a good cause. Thank you all for this experience and all good vibes to you. We have $10 from Rider Strike. Always love donating a couple bucks to this great cause. And since the great space lord Alexis Alexander Navarro is a name choice for Nier, I've got to donate extra. Thanks, all. Alex Navarro is no longer the third place Nier Automata file name. He's upgraded to second. Chungus, of course, still dominating that, that whole category. It's going to take a lot to take down the Chungus, guys. Alex Navarro needs your help. Don't forget, you can always win prizes by donating. During certain blocks, you'll be entered to win certain prizes. Right now, you can donate $5 and win a Splatoon 2 Octoling Amiibo set or cosmetic bag. Uh, donating $10 enters you for the Tomb Raider uh, Dagger Collector's Edition print. Uh, and of course, $50 will get you the AGDQ 2019 Next Level Banner. These banners are rare. We print one, and then we're done. And $250 across all your donations will enter you to win the fantastic replica Master Sword in Hylian Shield. That thing is heavy, about 15 pounds. 
So go ahead. You can always check out gamesunquick.com as well to see the prizes coming up in the future. We have a $50 donation from Caskets, donating as a tribute to one of my favorite games of all time, Nier Automata. Work, make, work makes it so hard, there's no way I'll be awake when you hit ending E. But know that I'll be singing along to the credits in my sleep. Thank you for the sleep, sleep singing, Caskets. Thank you. We have a $50 donation from Upgrade Leader Michael. Big shout out to the GDQ team. Cancer has become a defining illness in my family, so organizations like PCF are amazing in helping improve the cancer survival rate. The, the, the donation goes to the Sonic Mania Plus race because more speed. I'm actually just watching the uh, donations refresh for the uh, Near Automata Bit War. Chungus is once again uh, slowly being clawed at Alex Navarro. Bit by bit is getting closer and closer. You've got to keep fighting to take down the Chungus for the Near Automata file name. Additionally, we do have a $5 donation from Havard. Good luck crawling through walls, Plastic Rainbow. Remember to have fun during your live marathon. It goes by faster than you think. 